In the not so distant future, you will have all kinds of AIs that don't just do what humans tell them, but they will invent their own goals and their own experiments, and they will transcend humankind. I mean, just imagine what it would be like to be in dialogue with another person who was running on a time course that was a billion times faster than yours. For every second you had to think, it has 32 years. Someone needs to be thinking ahead of what the consequences are. Just as we can't really imagine what the actual science of the future is going to be like, I don't think we've begun to really think about all of the possible futures which logically spring out of this technology. If people saw on radar right now that an alien spaceship was approaching Earth and it was 25 years away, we would be mobilized to prepare for that alien's arrival 25 years from now. But that's exactly the situation that we're in with artificial intelligence. The classic AI alignment problem is HAL in 2001. HAL has given a clear goal, make the mission succeed. But to make it succeed, he's gonna have to make some of the people on the mission die. I'm sorry, Dave, I can't do that. It's actually, a real genius illustration of, of what the real threat is from superintelligence. It's not malice, it's competence. You set it a goal, and the way that it does this goal turns out to be at odds with what you really want. It can be dangerous when goals don't align. In Kubrick's film, there was a solution. Dave just switched him off. But you can't just switch them off because they already thought of that. They are super intelligent. For a machine convinced of it's a goal, even something as simple as fetch the coffee, it's obvious to any sufficiently intelligent machine that it can't fetch the coffee if it's switched off. Give it a goal, you've given the machine an incentive to defend itself. When an artificial intelligence reaches human intelligence, it will very quickly exceed human intelligence. And once that happens, it doesn't even need us anymore to make it smarter. It can make itself smarter. We need to be worrying about it before we reach the event horizon. Once you cross that boundary, there is no way back. What makes that dangerous is we don't know where it is. We are in a world today where it is absolutely a foot race to go as fast as possible toward creating an artificial general intelligence, and there don't seem to be any brakes being applied anywhere in sight. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. The next few decades. 25 to 50 years. A few hundred years. It's over the next few decades. Not in my lifetime. Nobody knows. But it doesn't really matter. Whatever it's 10 years or 100 years, the problem is the same. It's just as real, and we'll need all this time to solve it.